Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, on this rainy Saturday, we are doing another anniversary review. Because today marks the 30th anniversary of Leon the Professional. If you don't know which movie this is, it's the movie that propelled Natalie Portman into the spotlight. So to give a little backstory for the ones who have not seen this movie, Leon the Professional tells the story of a 12-year-old named Matilda, and that is Natalie Portman's character, by the way. She is taken in by her neighbor Leon after her abusive family is killed by these corrupt DEA agents. In exchange for helping helping her, she like takes care of his place and also helps teach Leon how to read. And later down the line she finds out that Leon is actually a professional hitman for the mob. After developing like somewhat of a crush onto him she later not only goes from being you know helping out around his house but later also becomes his protege in the ways of becoming a hitman this movie has act is actually really good but it also has you know had its controversies as well i will admit there are some scenes in here that kind of like you know exploit natalie portman because they kind of like sexualize her in a few scenes but i don't see their Leon or Matilda's relationship like that not even close I see their relationship more like a father-daughter relationship because in this movie Matilda's family doesn't really even give a shit about her I mean her dad is a is a mule her mom is works at a strip club her father and her older sister abuse her like beat her and the only one who actually cares about Matilda is her four-year-old brother so, I mean, of course, she's had a terrible, terrible life. And, of course, she got, she's been going through this her, her whole life. So, finally, when she meets Leon and he actually does care, well, I mean, of course, she probably doesn't want to leave because she's finally met someone who actually gives a shit about her. I don't think she would want to leave that. Leon's character, though, is a lot more straightforward than than Matilda's character who is very complex. Leon is a hitman and that's the only life he's ever known. That's all he's ever done with his life and so basically all he cares about is his next mission. But when Matilda comes into his life she shows him new ways that he can live. It's like she gives him a greater purpose in his life than he thought he had. So of course he starts you know doing his job to make sure she stays safe and also at the same time trying to help her you know find a better life than staying with him because he knows that his life is not good for her even though it's somewhere she wants to be there are a few issues i have with this movie one of them being that even though this movie is an action thriller it seems to have a lot more drama going on than any of the other two i mean action wise there is action here but not as much as I wish there probably could have been and as for thriller wise it doesn't really get me on the edge of my seat and I think a thriller does that very well it gets you on the edge of your seat and makes you start thinking this movie doesn't really do that at all so definitely I would consider this more drama than either an action movie or a thriller movie and also with the way they show Natalie Portman and her relationship with Leon I mean it doesn't seem like the best thing, you know, with the way it was done, no wonder why it sprung up controversy, because it was more about, ex seems like they were exploiting that, because Leon, most of the movie didn't try and help her, you know, get a better life away from him. It's like, since she wanted to stay here, he let, him st he let her stay here. But, I mean, I would think that even though they had a father-daughter relationship, there were obviously a lot of moments where Matilda was trying to make moves on Leon, even though that wasn't the kind of relationship he wanted. So, I mean, it's no wonder why this movie got a lot of controversy, kind of exploiting Natalie Portman's character like that. So, I mean, if they probably had done more, like, with Leon trying to help her get out of this life, there probably wouldn't have been that much controversy. But even so... The Miss movie will always be remembered for the movie that launched Natalie Portman's career. Because after this, I mean, Natalie Portman was in a ton of other great box office hits. 
I mean, of course, the big one that probably she is remembered for is Star Wars. But other than that, she's been in a lot of other great movies. But it all started here with this one. So that's any Natalie Portman fans out there who haven't seen this movie. This is one definitely I recommend watching and giving a chance because I think it's actually a very good story.